Now to start that ATM business, there's a few things you're gonna need. I need you guys to write this down. If you really need like the breakdown, the, all the pillars you need for your ATM business, you're gonna need your LLC. From there, you're actually gonna need your business bank account. You need to let them know that, hey, it's gonna be for an ATM business checking account. You can't just go to Chase, you can't go to Wells Fargo, Bank of America, 99% of the time, they're gonna say no. You wanna look for small banks, you wanna make sure they're like credit unions, and you wanna be transparent. Make sure you have all the paperwork. Make sure you let them know you're starting an ATM business checking account. Who wants the script that I use to actually open up all the accounts? When we used to call banks or like, hey, can we get an account? There's one script we always used. It's the one liner that had like a phenomenal success rate. I used to call all the time. The script we use on the phone, I say, hey. All right, all right, all right, guys. What's going on? Get them here, COO of ATM2Gether.com. Welcome to another weekly live. First of all, I want you guys to comment the city and state you guys are actually watching this live from. All right. Now, I know you guys are all over the US. Maybe you're in the East Coast in Miami. You need to come out and see us because I'm actually in Miami, Florida right now. Or if my California gentlemen and women are over there too, can't wait to see you guys. But I'm seeing all the comments come in. All right. So I'm seeing you all over the place. And you guys have noticed now a lot more people internationally. We're seeing people from Australia, England, Ireland. I'm like all over the place. So this is getting pretty crazy, guys. I was on the plane the other day. I was like, hey, aren't you that guy that sells ATMs? Like, no, 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 that's not me. I put on my hoodie. All right. So with that being said, guys, we're actually pre-recording this for our YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button because it's going to help us spread the message to as many people as possible, guys. All right. So I'm seeing all your guys' comments. Phenomenal, phenomenal viewership from all across the U.S. And I thought I saw somebody in Canada in there too. All right. The next question I always get, they're like, hey, um, who the heck is Ghetto? Right. So myself, just a quick, quick, quick overview of myself, right? Just because you're probably wondering, like, why should we even listen to you? Why are you on this web why are you on this webinar on Halloween? Well, I was in the Marine Corps for a little while, did some things in the military, ended up, ended up homeless for a while, got into law enforcement. You know, it's a long story in between, guys. But since then, I decided, hey, I'm gonna work my ass off. I worked every single day, saved every single penny. I lived off of like $10,000 a year. It was craziness, making over a quarter of a million with overtime, saved, invested in so many different businesses that failed, finally found a few that worked, including the ATM business, eventually also invested in real estate, crypto, got a few more commas in the bank account, and lo and behold, here I am running operations for ATM Together, co-founder of another company, in case you guys haven't checked out, merchantautomation.com, which is some cool value at that company too for you after this. But the reason I bring this up for you guys is I'm big into saying, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm telling you right now, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the fastest. I'm not the brightest. But I guess what? I will work harder and faster than anybody else to get there. And if you're watching this on Halloween, let's be realistic. You're one of those people, guys. So if you know you have the mindset for success, even if you don't know the business, you know, if you're taught just the basics, you will make it happen. I want you to comment mindset below comment mindset guys, because this is an accountability ticket. This is your accountability ticket. What this is, is when you get a like on that comment, when you get a response to that comment a week from now, a year from now, when you're feeling down, you're going to say, you know what? I got to get up and I got to make this happen for myself, my family, my future Lamborghini, hey, whatever it is, guys, I'm not going to judge you. Right? So now let's get into what we're actually going to be covering for these lessons today, guys. The next thing we're gonna go over, guys, is going to be Startup 101, the ATM and BTM basics, right? So before we even get into this lesson, I got a question for you guys, right? How many of you guys would want a copy of our free PDF startup guide? And I say free as if there's only one, there's two, not one, there's two. In the military, what do they say? Two is one, one is none. So if you want a copy of our BTM guide, I want you to comment mm, passive. Comment passive below. We'll send you a copy of our brand new free PDF guide for just starting the BTM business. But if you're like, hey, you know what? I want to start with ATMs. I'm more comfortable. I'm used to them. That's okay. I want you to comment, mm, we'll say active. Comment active below. And here's the reason why. This goes into our lesson. The reason why I bring this up is because on the BTM side, it's passive for remotely man everything. It's, it's, it's just fancy. It's a like kiosk and all that good stuff, right? ATM side, a little more sweat equity, put a little work in there. It's all right. That's okay. 
And the reason why is because we work with you no matter what you want to do. But at the end of the day, you got to understand one is going to be a lower cost of entry. You're typically about four figures, which is ATMs, and you're going to make money off of surcharge. And I'm going to get into this in a lesson. Don't worry. On the other side with BTMs, it's going to be passive. You're going to make more profits because of percentages. But guess what? Less transactions because it's more unique crowd. It's focused on people. Right, guys? So before I even get to this lesson, I want you to comment below based on what I'm telling you. In your head, you're like, ah, based on just like the 10 seconds of info I gave you, what would you be more interested in, ATMs or BTMs? Comment ATM, obviously, if you're into ATMs, and BTMs if you're into BTMs, guys, right? Just so I get a, a show of hands while I get into this lesson, guys, right? So excuse me. Hold on. All right, guys. So let's get into this. So when it comes down to the business, guys, what you really want to pay attention to is what type of business model you're looking at, right? So here's the reason why I bring this up. At the end of the day, both business models are phenomenal. And the reason why I can bring this up is because think about it. We started with ATMs. We barely got into BTMs in December of the last year. It's only going to be a year from now. That should tell you something for the past, I mean, I think like 10 years we've been in the ATM business. So that should tell you something. The BTM industry is very new. All right, guys. So let me break this down step by step, right? Exactly how I explained for our consultants to break it down for you in more detail on calls, but just the overview so you get a firm understanding, right? So on the ATM side, you're targeting quick access to cash, all right? So think about this for a second. If you ever go to an ATM and it doesn't have a bank logo on it, it's owned by somebody like you and me. We're making money off of it. You're basically a private money lender. And the way you want to think about it is this. You're going to have an ATM. You always want to buy brand new. When you're new, buy brand new. That's a rule of thumb, right? You have that ATM at the location. You're going to put some cash inside of it, typically about $1,000 to $3,000 in cash, right? The machines themselves, they hold up to $20,000, just so you guys know, right? Now, customer A will go to your ATM on Monday. They pull out $20. They get charged a surcharge. Across the U.S., it ranges. So typically, it's about $3 is about the average you're going to see. If you go to like Miami Beach, it might be $9.95. It's craziness. Or if you go to like certain areas that I know you guys don't go to, right? But they may be charging you percentages too, all right? And if you're laughing, you know exactly what I'm talking about, all right? It's, it's, it's business. So imagine you make $3. You're not rich. That doesn't even cover a Starbucks latte. However, guess what it does cover? It covers a quick access to cash. Think about the percentage on that for a second. You're basically making 1.5% right off the bat within a second. So if five people use your ATM a day, that's $15 a day. And then those 30, well, 31 days in October, we'll just say 30 days to keep the math simple. That's $450 a month in profit, guys. Not too bad for the money going back and forth to you. So the number one question we get is like, hey, get them like, where does the money go and where does it come from? Well, answer number one is the money goes back to your bank account every single business day. As long as you work with a legitimate processor, uh, with us, we work with Mike Sandone, who's been in the and he's been in the business for I think like 15 years already, right? He's got hundreds of ATMs making a lot of money a month. We work with him. And the reason why is because at the end of the day, you want to make sure you have free processing, no contracts, and you keep a hundred percent of your surcharge, guys. Do not let a processor say, Hey, you owe me some money. All they're doing is saying, hey, I'm going to pull one on up here. And then here's what's typically going to happen. We see this all the time when people come over like, dude, this dude tried to get us. Well, at the end of the day, if you confront them and you say, I should be getting free processing and then they do give it to you after, you really have to ask yourself like, hmm, is that somebody I really want to work with? They weren't willing to actually give me free processing. Is that really somebody I want to work with? I don't know. That's a question for yourself. So make sure you get free processing. So your processor is like your network. They're going to connect your ATM to your business checking account and to the customer's business checking account. So every single business day. So on Monday, all your money comes back on Tuesday. On Tuesday, comes back on Wednesday. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, comes back on Monday. Right? Now, to start that ATM business, there's a few things you're going to need. I need you guys to write this down. Comment foundation below. Comment foundation if you if you really need like the breakdown, the, all the pillars you need for your ATM business. Because I got to go through this quick. We're about to run out of time, right? And I got to announce that winner because one of those pillars is going to be the thing you're about to win in a few minutes, right? So you're going to need your LLC, right? Your LLC, guys. Just like I mentioned, you have that. And if you need the guide, make sure you comment LLC. From there, you're actually going to need your business bank account. Now, here's what's big with the ATM business. Your business bank account 
has to be specific to your ATM account. You can't just go to Chase. You can't go to Wells Fargo, Bank of America. 99% of the time, they're going to say no. For us, if you're in California, we have an executive connection to open up a business checking account for your ATM business in California. You heard that right. ATM businesses were shut down in California for the longest time. We got approached by a big name bank that's in California, Texas, the South, all over. They're like, hey, we know you guys are legit. You guys have legitimate people that want to start their ATM business. You let me know, Paul. You let me know. Get them whenever anybody needs to open an account in California, anywhere you want. Comment California. If you're in California right now and you're like, say what? We can do an ATM account in California. Let me know. I will personally authorize them to open an account for you in California. That should tell you something, guys. That's what hard work gets you. We worked for this for three years in a row. And hey, the banks are like, hey, we want to work with you now. All right. So they want to work with you to get your bank open. Now, you need your bank account. You need to let them know that, hey, it's going to be for an ATM business checking account. All right. So if you're in California and you don't know me, it is what it is. Right. But if you're in any other state, I'm, so, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. All right. But if you're in any other state, you want to look for small banks. You want to make sure they're like credit unions. And you want to be transparent. Make sure you have all the paperwork. Make sure you let them know you're starting an ATM business checking account. Who wants the script that I use to actually open up all the accounts? When we used to call banks, they're like, hey, can we get an account? There's one script we always used. Comment script below. Comment script. It's the one liner that had like a phenomenal success rate. I used to call all the time, right? While you guys are commenting, what I need to do is get some water because the AC shut off in my building today. There's like some emergency. So, all right. <clears throat> So the script we use to actually find out if they're going to open a bank account, because you don't want to go there in person, save some time, let's be realistic. The script we use on the phone, I say, hey, I'm calling to open a business checking account to collect commissions for my ATM business. If you didn't write that down, you got problems, but I'm going to say it one more time. You got to comment, repeat, if you need me to say it one more time, because I got to get through this lesson. So, hey. I'm calling to open a business checking account to collect commissions for my ATM business. That's it. All right. And just so you guys know, it's probably something funny for you. If you're a millennial, you probably don't even know how to do what this means with the phone, right? They do this in case you guys didn't know. So it's a little different. So you guys, in case you guys got confused, that was a phone. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Let's not date ourselves, guys. All right. So you get your business checking account. Then you decided, hey, you know what? I need an ATM. So from your ATM, you get it brand new from your processor. Make sure you get a processor that does what? Free processing, no contract, and you keep all your, your actual uh, surcharge. So then you get your ATM from them. They should be showing you how to program it. If they're not, you got some problems, right? You need to work with some new people. You're, now, you're probably going to need an internet connection, right? Because how else is your ATM going to connect to all these banks? So there's two options. Option one, you plug it in like old school, like a landline, right? Probably don't want to do that. What if somebody trips on the cord and all that? Your ATM's down. You just lost 200, 300, 400, a thousand dollars a month. The way we recommend, guys, is you get an internet modem for your ATM. It's dedicated. It's like a hotspot. It goes right inside of it, and it'll get you dedicated internet connection, guys. Right? Do not pay over ten dollars a month for that. And you heard me right. You're probably like ten dollars a month. My Verizon's like a hundred. Trust me, under ten dollars a month, and it should come from your processor. If they're not providing it for you, you got problems. Right? Then the most important thing for the ATM business, because I got to get through this quick, guys, is going to be your location, right? So I'm going to give you some quick overviews of the location, but who would want a copy of the guide I use to find the best locations for our clients? Comment location below. Comment location. And our location finder team is probably like, they probably just had like, you know, it was almost like the butterfly effect, right? Where like you just you shake and you pause, like something just happened. They're probably like, did somebody just give away the guide? That's what it is. That's how serious this is, guys. Comment location below, all right? So you want to look for a cash-driven location. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. That's it because I got to get to the BTM. So cash-driven location. If you want more and you want me to focus on a full-on lesson on just finding locations for your business, comment, mm, teach me. Comment, teach me below. If I get enough comments, I will have a specific lesson or myself or Paul will have a specific lesson on actually finding locations, right? Now I got to get into the BTMs, guys. So you have your ATM business up and running. You just installed it and you're like, man, what's this thing right next to it? Somebody just put a BTM here. Who, who owns this? That's the reason why they complement each other, guys. They're usually right next to each other. You have your ATM and then you have your BTM and they complement. They don't conflict. They don't compete with each other. They work together. And here's exactly how, guys.